Hello everybody, uh, thank you very much for the feedback. Mm, feedback is important for me, so I will remove the background music because uh, some of the people told me to to quit the background music, so I'm doing this. Hopefully it's gonna be more clear. And today we're gonna, some, somebody sent me this question to, to explain it. So, Arnav, how to read the HSI. So, my when I was taking the exam, what, what I know, uh, it's just, uh, when, you, when you see here, HSI, look at the H and remember heading matters this is the most important thing uh, the difference between HSI and CDI so let's start with this question an aircraft is flying a magnetic heading of 10 okay magnetic variation of the VR is 10 west and the uh, aircraft 12 west which VR RMI corresponds to the indications of the HSI shown on the annex. So, what I usually do, I mean, in the beginning you ha you have to draw it. It's easier. So let's make this and uh, make the notations. So this is 360. This is 90. This is 270. And this is 180. All right. So. As you can see here, I'll use a brush. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, so you see here, this is from the station. So, first of all, we have to decide in where we are. So we are from the station on a course of 660 to 240. So we're gonna do like this. This is 270. 240 should be somewhere here so 60 I'm sorry about that let me just make a straight line better <laughs> okay I'll make that another color so our course is something like this and I'll write it here this is 60 this is of course 240 the opposite so <clears throat> this is the course right this is the course and this is where the station is so that means we are to the right of the station just remember the station is always in the middle so this is the station and we are to the right because this is from so we are to the right somewhere here but as you can see we have to fly left so let's make the airplane so we have a heading of not 360 but 10 so something like this Oops. okay this is these are the wings and this is 10 because heading matters for the HSI this is our heading and uh, we have to fly left so if we have to fly left that means we are on this radial radial probably 50 so let's check so in order to fly to the station we have to fly more than 240 which is the only answer is this one that's it that is just draw it and you're gonna figure it out so guys I just want to let you know I am NOT an instructor I'm just a guy that finished the exams and just trying to help others uh, if I'm doing anything wrong just please let me know but uh, as far as my understanding goes I understood like this and it helps and uh, one, one more thing to add so I was saying HSI heading matters when it's CDI heading doesn't matter so for example if you would be here with this heading uh, and you would have a CDI showing uh, something like this you would have to turn on a you have to turn right okay not a good example if you had something like this 
this is the heading and you have a CDI here you don't turn left but you have to make a right because he doesn't know where's your heading CDI doesn't know so CDI would think of you like a dot just remember a hovering uh, helicopter so he doesn't know so basically what he knows he knows you are on this radio so you have to turn right that's all you need to, to remember I hope I'm uh, I made myself clear I'm not an instructor but I hope my method uh, helps you don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram Patriot Pilot and uh, don't forget practice makes it better Good luck for exams.